Hey guys, Kenny here, and if you guys are kind of wondering who the heck Kenny is, well, you guys happen to have been subscribed, if, if I showed up in your subscription box, you guys happen to have been subscribed for me and you probably haven't seen any content, well you haven't seen any content from me in a long time, but um, let me get past that barrier, uh, school, and I've got a job now, and then and have some, some a whole bunch of server stuff going on, it's taking up a whole bunch of my time, and everything's been crazy. But uh, there's been a few changes, uh, you guys probably noticed, I did get partnered over the last, I've been partnered for like a whole bunch of months and I haven't even been making any videos, but uh, I got partnered, as you guys could see. Um, anyways, there is a point in this video besides describing what has been going on in my life, and that is uh, to go over bu events in Bucket. And this is continuing on with our plugin development series, uh, I just kind of thought it would be cool to continue on that series rather than going to another plugin. Uh, so let's go and dive in. So the first, there'll be a link in the description that'll link you to this site. Now this is the, a tool that you're going to use so much in plugin development. It is probably one of the most helpful tools I use all the time. It's got all your answers to everything. This is called, uh, it's, it's documentation for the, the bucket API. And this is what we're using when we're making bucket plugins is called an API. So the first thing we're going to go and click in is this classes, and then we can go and click on this class list. Now there's a whole bunch of different ways to navigate this site, and they provide all of them, and it's an extremely uh, great user interface. But today we're going to be focusing on one category, and that is going to be the events. Now actually what all of these are, these are different packages. In case you were wondering, uh, you guys kind of go ahead and go through each of them, look into what they all are, and kind of read about them. They do have a little bit of description about what they all do when they're called, so on and so forth. Anyways, as I said, we're focusing on the event, so I'll go ahead and click on that one. Now from here, there's a few different events that you can use. We're specifically going to be focusing on the player event today. There is just so much that you can do with events in Bucket, all in Bucket's API that is just too much to cover. You just have to keep on going through all of them. I'm going to try and hit uh, throughout this whole series. I'm going to try and hit all the main ones that you're going to be using. But of course, you're going to, you're going to run into something that, uh, or you're going to be making a plugin where you're going to run into a barrier where you're like, "What the heck? I need I needed this event, and it'll 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 be there. It'll just be you have, you have to look for it." So inside the player, we've got um, all of these different events. Now, basically, what an event is in Bucket is any time a player breaks a block, that's an event. Anytime a player joins a server, that's an event. Anytime the player talks on the server, that's an event. This is all the player events, by the way. Um, so anytime basically anything happens on the server, an event is called. So the one that we're actually going to be focusing on today is the player join event right here. Now you might actually notice there's another one, player login event. Um, we're, this is uh, before the player actually joins the server, so w you don't want to ever send messages to players uh, in this event. You're going to want to use the player join event. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive into the code. Alright, so as you can see, I've already got the basic setup uh, created. If you don't know what the heck this is and you're wondering how did I get this far, well, I actually have a series on creating the basic plugin and you guys can click on the link on this screen and it'll take you right to that uh, playlist. So the first thing we're going to want to do when uh, working with events is uh, we're going to create a new method inside our main class. Now it doesn't have to be inside our main class, we're just trying to stay in one class for now. Keep it as simple as possible. In a, a future tutorials, we will be going on to multi-class plugins, but uh, that we'll save that for later. So the first thing we're going to want to do is make that method that I talked about. So public void on player join. Really, it can be called anything. I just called it on player join because it's relevant to what we're doing. So player join event event. That is the parameter that this uh, event will take. It, you have to uh, give it the player join event and we have to import it because it's red and now the first thing that I always try to do and I don't always happen to do it is we have to register the event with bucket we have to tell bucket hey bucket we have this event that we want you to know about uh, so you should probably we need to register it with you if that's alright so uh, gotta be courteous you know 
what we're going to first do is we're going to have to implement listener. So whenever you implement listener, you're, uh, you always have to do that whenever you, you have an event of some sort in your, uh, in your class. So we're going to implement listener. And of course that needs to be imported. And the next thing that we're going to want to do is we have to add this to the event. So Bucket's like, okay, thanks. So you want to register this event with me? Uh, sweet. Where is the event? Well, it's actually right here. Add event handler. And it's an annotation, so we'll go ahead and we'll import it also. Now, these are just the basic things you do every time you have an event. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is when the plugin starts up, we have to tell Bucket, all right, we're registering this event to you. So remember, this is going to be an event that you need to listen to. So we're going to do bucket dot get plugin manager dot register events. So the, it takes two parameters, and I'll explain that in a second. So the first parameter is the class that the listener is in, and the second parameter is the plugin. So because uh, this class is a class that has the listener, which is right here. We put this, and because this class is the one that's extending the Java plugin, we put this. Hopefully that makes sense, and that doesn't kind of confuse you even more than you might already be. But uh, that's how you register an event, and we're all read we're all set up. So as when a player joins the game, this event is going to be called. So we now we can do anything. We can do anything we want. So the first thing that we can do is we can go ahead and create a player variable, just like we did before. So player, player equals event dot get player. Now we have to import player, as you remember. So basically what this is saying is, so we've got this event. So the player joins the server. This event is called saying event, give me the player. Quite simple. And event is obviously this variable up here. So now we've got the player variable. Now, everything that the in player variable, all the methods in the player variable, we can use now. So player, dot, we'll just go and send them a message. Whoop. Send message. Just like that. And of course, I, you always want to get in the habit of saving your project. And so now, as soon as the player joins the server, they're going to get this mail message, hello and welcome to this server. So now what we want to do is we'll click on this, we'll hit F5 to refresh, and then we are going to export the plugin. Next, and I've already selected where I want it to go to, I went ahead and exported it. So I'll go over here, and I'll take the jar file that I just exported and drag it into the plugins folder. Now I'll go ahead and start up the server and it looks like we've got an error. Now this is actually good because you guys can see this is what debugging is. So we've got invalid plugin YML. So I forgot to add the plugin YML. That's my bad. Anyways, let's review. So new file, plugin.yml, just like that. And I've got it right here. I must have deleted it or something. Just go ahead and paste it in, save that, and refresh. Export. Let's close that out. One second, sorry about that. Next and finish, just like that. And we'll go ahead and bring up both of our ex Windows Explorers. Drag this into the plugins folder. Replace it because it's now there, and start up the server. And now we can see we have a successful startup. So we'll go ahead and go into Minecraft and direct connect to localhost. And there we go. Hello and welcome to this server is the message that we set to be sent. So as you can imagine, there is so much potential that you can use with this. And I realize this is probably a little bit of a long video to introduce this. I'm just trying to make everything as clear as possible so that hopefully you guys can take this and build upon it and start messing around because events is you're just getting started with the potential. There is so much you can do, and events are the fundamental concept that you're going to be needing to implement in your plugins to make them successful. So I'll just go ahead and go over what we went did uh, in this plugin, which, by the way, the source is going to be available in the description for you to download and look through if you want it. So the f 
up here we've got we're declaring our class and we're extending Java plugin because we need to say that this is a bucket plugin so we are uh, extending the bucket uh, API and then we're implementing listener because we have a listener in this class if we didn't have a listener in this class we do not need to implement the listener now we've got our uh, on enable method here and this is called whenever the plugin starts up and this is registering the event so bucket dot get plugin manager and we're registering the event the first parameter is the class that the event or yeah that the event is in which is this class because it's implementing listener and it's got the listener over here and this the second parameter is the plugin that we're talking about which is this plugin this class and next we've got our on disable got nothing going on in there and lastly we've got our event so we've got add event handler because that is required whenever we use an event to tell to annotate to the event handler or the to to tell the event that this is an event handler if we didn't put this here this event would not work it would not be registered and player player we're creating a player variable based on the player that joined when this event was fired and we're simply sending the player a message so hopefully that explains it sorry for not making a video and I hope you guys can for in a while anyways I hope you guys can take this this concept and build upon it and just start using the potential I, what I recommend is you can go ahead and go like event dot and it brings up this little menu and you can just kind of start scrolling through and seeing what each event can do and that really can get you started with doing some pretty awesome stuff and other than that I think I'm about done with this awfully too long video that should be like a three minute video but it's going to end up being like a 12 minute video for some odd reason anyways you guys I'm Kenny and I will be making more videos so until then next time see you next time